Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, you need to subscribe and make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a video. And especially this one coming up. Because as you saw, we had a whole trailer full of perfectly good, healthy food, snacks. It's, it's just amazing. Just make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. But in this video, I mean, you got some kombucha. Let me know if you guys have tried some kombucha. It's pretty good, and it's good for you. Just uh, make sure to follow the directions if you're going to make it, because, yeah, it can be a little tricky if you're going to try and make it yourself. Otherwise, you can just go to the store and buy some already made. And we have a nice, nice haul right here. Oh my goodness, okay. It's been a while since we've had a good can haul like this. You know Mr. Volt's gonna get in there. But first, <laughs> our bags. <laughs> okay, we always recommend these bags. They are amazing. If you're new to the channel, check out the description because we pretty much use only these bags. And I'm sure you guys, you know, know, cans, they're going to be heavy. So, yeah, they can hold a lot of weight. Just don't drag them on the ground. So there's lots and lots of stuff in here. I mean, Halloween stuff. So this was like right after Halloween too. And <laughs> someone left a grabber. So we got a grabber. <laughs> We got some napkins, some tomato soup, some cupcake liners, some Frankenstein marshmallows, and some cotton candy. <laughs> Sophie, um, yeah, she's been asking for some cotton candy since for like ever. <laughs> She's always asking for cotton candy. And we found this and yeah, we tried it and it was really good. Still soft and fluffy. So she got some cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Otherwise she'd be running all over the place. <laughs> so we went to uh, Knott's one time and yeah, she asked grandpa for cotton candy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, she had so much cotton candy, she was just super hyper and up all night. So now she only gets a little bit. But look at the Jiffy Hamburger Helper. So a lot of the stuff was close to the Best Buy date. There was some stuff that was a little bit past, but I mean, you guys already know, it's still good. And yeah, yeah napkins don't expire, really. <laughs> They're still good. So the Mr. Volt's trying to figure out and where to put what? Some more tomato soup. So she likes to dip her grilled cheese with her tomato soup. And there's just stuff all over. Popping corn, canned corn. So even some dressing. Um, yeah. It's still good. There's so much stuff in here. Got some barbecue sauce. I was going to say more barbecue sauce, but that was a blessing. <laughs> it's 
some tuna. So lots and lots of stuff. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to leave your comments. Let us know if you guys dumpster dive, if you guys, you know, just like to watch it or you guys actually are able to go out there and do this or maybe you have done it years and years ago before it was all popular on YouTube. <laughs> I know some of you guys have been dumpster diving for decades and that's amazing. And yes, these will be donated, so we're gonna go through them, make sure that, you know, the cans are sealed and everything is good. And there's still more down there. So Mr. Volt's like checking everything in there. That is sealed. Some peanut butter. So I'm not sure why some of the stuff is thrown out, but you know, it's still good. It can still be saved. And there's still more in there. There's some low carb blueberry muffin mix. Some more jiffy. We made some the other day, it came out really good. More napkins. We noticed that like after the holidays, stuff like that stuff like that gets thrown out all the time. Just, of course, be careful of your dumpster diving. Make sure to have someone with you if possible. And never, never, ever, ever cut any locks, break any lids, or anything. We've seen some of that before, and that's a big no-no. So, like I said, it's been a while, but if you have, you know, seen these videos or if you haven't, check them out. But yeah, we used to find tons and tons of cans. Um, that's one of the best things to find because they're going to last a long time. And just like this find right here, it's going to help a lot of people. There's another score. So let us know in the comments if you guys remember those videos. If not, you can go back and rewatch them. Some more Halloween decorations. So the only thing is like, if you guys rewatch some of the older videos, like we change things, you know, we try to mix stuff up and try things and see if it works and whatever works doesn't work. Um, so some of those older videos, they might have like uh, the food boxes where we were sending non-perishable food items to people and um, all they had to do was pay for the cost of shipping. So if you do happen to see that, we are no longer doing that. So don't send money for food boxes. But um, yeah, that was just something that we tried out. But, you know, we can't hold on to too much food. So we tried it for, you know, as long as possible. Um, but we donate like most of what we find to the blessing boxes anyways. Uh, that was just something that we wanted to, you know, try and help out with people who didn't have blessing boxes nearby and, you know, wanted to get a lot of food for a little bit of money. And there was a lot of people that that bought those too. So, like I said, we didn't make any profit on it at all. I think we actually lose a couple, lose, lost a couple dollars. <laughs> but um, it was nice. You know, it's like we like to try different things and, like I said, see what works. And of course, if you guys have any tips and stuff on some of the stuff that we find, let us know. We have different places that we donate to.
And we do get asked, um, okay, that was cat food, not human food. But we do get asked a lot, you know, like if we sell stuff too. Um, for the most part, no. We do have our mystery boxes. So if you guys are interested, there's links in the description. Um, we are still doing them, but only for the regular ones and the memory foam boxes. So there's more info in the description. But basically, we fill up a medium flat rate box with as many goodies as we can. Dumpster die finds. Um, the memory foam pillows are brand new. They're not dumpster die finds. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, let us know. We do have some Christmas stuff still, um, but we're running low on Christmas stuff. So if you do want some, um, yeah, you got to get that quick because they're, they're going quick. <laughs> So, um, Tuesdays we ship out our mystery boxes. And right here, Mr. Volt has found lots and lots of posters. All kinds of different ones. There's like some Sonic and Mario Brothers. Some video game ones, different kinds. And our other daughter, she loves these kind of posters, so yeah, sometimes like when we find these things, she'll go through it and see if there's any that she likes. These do not fit in the mystery boxes, otherwise we'd put some in too. Um, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see if we're able to ship them out. You can let us know if you're interested. Otherwise, they get donated, so... That's the good thing about dumpster diving. Like even if we keep some stuff for a little bit, it's gonna get donated anyways. Um, we just kind of see like who needs what. We have people that we know that request things. And there's a lot in here that were thrown away. So it looked like the store already went through and just started throwing stuff out. Some posters you can see right there. And I guess they just gave up on that and just tossed them all in. Because these other ones, they're still sealed. And even though they were in the dumpster like that, they're not even like crushed or squished, anything like that. <laughs> so that's really good too. And there's still more hiding in there. <laughs> Mr. Volt's gotta work for those posters. They're <laughs> look at they're all in there. So yeah, sometimes Mr. Volt will miss something. So feel free to leave a comment if you saw something that he missed. <laughs> Just uh understand too that sometimes you know things get skipped or something so it's kind of it's kind of hard when you're in the moment doing that so we have a almost empty blessing box and what we did is we put together all of our donations so sometimes we find a lot and sometimes we find a little bit um so yeah we'll put it together and then we can make a large donation like this but we are just constantly finding things so it's just either you know whenever we have enough we just go and donate it sometimes we show it in the videos and sometimes we don't but all of this was really good there's so many people that are in need right now and can use this Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, leave your comments, and of course, have a great day. Bye!